Well, welcome back to another SNG selfie moment. And we're back here at the studio on Friday. And as always, every day we try to give you a little update what's going on around here and a short one at that. Our weekly show, of course, is being postponed till after the holiday. And I mean uh, Thanksgiving. After that next week, we'll be back to a regular show. Uh, we're going to go up with the parts for this, which is the uh, large uh, enterprise that I scratch built years ago and have been making a new one from my molds for the muse uh, Museum of Science Fiction. Dot org. I finally got there's no the it's museum of science fiction dot org project which is a great project you need to go check it out um, this is being done all for free to support the museum uh, and get that museum built in Washington DC there you go Mary um, which is great because it's like having the Smithsonian of science fiction uh, miniature work uh, and, and models uh, like you've never seen before, so please support it. And uh, and if you want to make a contribution to this project, of course you will get your name on the plaque, which will be mounted under the ship in the museum. Okay, uh, we got lots more decals put on J.J. Abrams' mobile and uh, and other little fun things to do. So let's go go up, open up the molds. Oh boy! Now this means it's finger poking time, which is what's going to happen to me. Uh, until these things are trimmed, they're really sharp. Um, I gotta be really careful because the molds have been starting to go uh, bit by bit, and I really hope I can get a few more out of these molds, rips and tears and all, before we call this over with. That came out pretty easy. That's a beautiful part, no problems found. You can see there's a, a thing in the mold there. Everything I need is here. I mean, there could be all kinds of big problems with this. Uh, but I have all the shape that I need. These are beautiful. They're really coming out nice. These come out of the mold. Um, not that uh, epoxy resin doesn't, but the problem I always ran into with epoxy resin is that these things would be littered with uh, all kinds of bubbles. These have no bubbles whatsoever. Uh, last one. So we get to the pylons. I, I don't know what it is about opening molds. I just love it. There we go. That, that's, that's doing great. Another really good one. And here's the pylons. Of course, we've already opened this one yesterday. And uh, we're going to open that one. Boy, that was hard. They've got some little boogers, but they're outies, not innies. There's no bubbles on these pieces at all. It's really, really nice. And I believe that's that one. They need some trimming. But there we go. I mean, we have everything to build this model now, which is fantastic. And over here, ooh, I just can't resist using this, but it is, the floor needs to be swept. Otherwise, it's really smooth where it's not a dirty floor. Uh, you'll notice these over here. I'll zoom in a bit. I found out that you can make your own trees and not buy these really expensive ones, which really don't look that good. I went out into a field and I got these and picked them off. Now, of course, what I'm going to do to these, I'm going to find a whole bunch more, uh, is I'm going to put this flocking material on them and paint them and stuff. And when you do, they really look like real trees. I just gotta find more, and then I could litter this whole thing with trees. And back to JJ, we are going to put hopefully the rest of the decals on today, and uh, that should be a relief because I want to move on to the base this weekend. Still having problems with uh, this dolly. I guess the floor is just too uneven. There's uh, stuff catching in it, but you get the idea. But we have a Steady cam. So let's try that. Oh heck, I'll show it to you. Um, Mary and I got the steady cam, which is going to work out really nice, I think. I get back a little bit more so you can see it better. Uh, there you go. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to put this small camera on it, which uh, I have to redo the weights, but uh, I'm going to try some steady cam work today. Well, as it turns out, this steady cam is way too big for this little camera, but it'll give you the idea. Um, um, 
it just really smooths things out really well. I think I'm zoomed in. This Steadicam is designed for a much bigger camera, so I'm, it's not as smooth as it will be when it's on the big camera, but it's pretty nice. Um, and uh, it's smooth, and I really like it. So uh, I don't know how much shooting we'll do with this today, but it, uh, it is pretty cool. Don't you think, Rosie? Rosie? Where's Rosie? There she is. <laughs> so, what's up, oh, Rosie? You're bumping the steady cam. Now it's not steady. It looks like a Steve Neal shot. Anyway, I can I do this on myself? Let's see. As the sweat drips down my face, it's uh, harder to do this way. But yeah, oh, hey, I'm over here. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, like I said, this is not made for a small camera like this. It's made for a much bigger camera, but it does kind of work. But, uh, Ah, uh, it's gonna take some uh, some doing. Yeah, I can do Brian De Palma shots to look. Woo! <laughs> anyway, and Rosie wants to play. These are tricky, and took me a while to figure out what they're getting at. But uh, you've got a right and a left half on these decals. If you're building this model, you're supposed to drag them up high enough that they actually touch each other so that when you put the solve set on it, or microsol, you know, you solve set, um, that they'll overlap. Otherwise, you have to, uh, you see this little gap there? But I'll show you this real carefully. Little gap there, but if you just press down on it, you see it starts to close. So I know I've got enough on there. To, uh, I'm gonna let these dry a bit and then put the solve set. I just don't want them moving around. So we'll uh, do the solve set, uh, micro saw. I keep saying solve set, but uh, you know what I mean. Aha, a box arrives. We always like getting boxes in the mail. And this is from Randy Newbert at voodooeffects.com. And he sent us, uh, well, you'll see what he sent us. As soon as I uh, use my special tripod over here, and I'm gonna open this box. Okay, this is gonna be cool. All right, the heck with it. There we go. All right. Ah. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's like Christmas. And there you go. From Voodoo Effects. And what we have here is a NAMP board for our big enterprise. Team guys picture on there, see? Cool. So, uh, Randy's stuff is the best. For many, many reasons. For one reason, he's a heck of a neat human being and a good friend who I really enjoy. Um, so we got a driver board here for LEDs so that all your Wow, Randy, you uh, you soldered it up for me too with all the resistors in it. How cool is that? That's a big savings. And our nav board right here. Um, and some hookup wire. And a, boy, a bunch of hookup wire. Wow, thanks. This is like a huge help. And this, of course, is all for the uh, Museum of Science Fiction. Uh, project uh, building a big enterprise some shrink tube and a whole bunch of LEDs for our single source LEDs Mandy thank you uh, lovely camera work thank you so much and of course your name also goes on the plaque of the museum I don't wonder if, wonder if mine goes on these are the decals that are left to go on top side and on the engineering section. Now, these are what are left, and these go on the bottom, which I am not going to do today because look, these decals have lots of Solvacet and, and, and Microsol and everything else on it. So we don't touch these till tomorrow. Unfortunately, I am not going to be here tomorrow. You see, they're still soft. You can see that. Rosie's being silly. Um, really silly. But um, so I don't want to touch it and do the bottom. Really, Rosie? 
Um, but I got 90% of them on, and uh, there's this one that goes on the spine here. Remember I was worried about the spine, the way there was that little... Well, anyway, it completely covers it up. This really looks quite amazing with all the decals that are on it so far. We're going to go ahead and put all the rest of them on top side um, and then get the heck out of jo Dodge. I will not be here tomorrow because I'm uh, going to go down, see the baby, and see Mary, and then come back. But I'll be here Sunday. All right, I've had enough. So I'm going to go home. But I figured I'd show you I did not get to the bottom. I got some on the bottom, but they're hard to reach, and I don't want to mess up uh, by touching the decals which have uh, Microsol on them. Uh, most of it's dried, but you know what? I'm going to wait a good long time to make sure that they're dry. So Sunday I will come back and I will um, get more done. Well, I'll get them all done. The bottom's not going to take long at all. Uh, really is not. And you can see that there is no, there are no, there is no, there are no decals on the bottom, but there will be, and there's only a few left. I'm going to turn the lights on so you can see this lit up uh, with the lights on it so you can see how the Aztecs look. Lou Delmasso's Aztecs is fantastic. A nice sheen on the hull. Uh, really, it really came out really, really well. And uh, remember this area here. I still need to put some solve set right there, uh, but overall the overlapping technique worked pretty well, and you can see it. it uh, uh, the solve set, uh, the microsol made it go right into all the nooks and crannies, and it really looks quite good. Uh, I had a little trouble here because these don't quite fit the width of these, but uh, it's okay. Um, you're going to have little problems somewhere sometimes, but overall. Really, this thing just really looks beautiful. Really nice. So, uh, uh, where is the model? There's the model. There's me. And we will see you on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday!